What's up, guys? So, this is going to be a twin flame update for, you know what? I was going to, yeah, let me, I'm going to start with the collective. So, ooh, and it's starting with the star. That's interesting. So, I'm going to do a twin flame update for the collective while I'm shuffling these cards. Watch my intro. BRB. I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides. They give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, Job, if you want to manifest a new car, if you want to manifest more money, if you want to manifest more life, a divine partner, a baby, whatever it is that you are yearning for, allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals. I'm looking for 33 people to help. And if you feel like you're one of those 33 people, hit the link below. Thank you. Good luck and peace. What's up? I'm back. So, great read for Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine out there. It starts with the star card again. So, to reiterate, basically, it's saying the stars are aligning for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. I don't want to sound cliche, but it is. The stars are aligning to bring this partnership together because the bottom of the deck is the magician. This partnership is in the process of being manifested. Union is, it, the stars are aligning. It's, it's what else can I say about this? You have the star and the magician. The stars are aligning. And this partnership is on the brink of transformation, on the brink of manifesting and unification. In addition to that, I got the high priestess, the two of pentacles, and the two of wands. What is that? Two, two, two. The number of balance, the number of unity, the number of beauty, tiferet, the number of trust, faith, manifesting, harmony. This is literally in the process of being manifested. So whoever this reading or whoever re resonates with this reading, know that the stars are aligning for your partnership. This is coming together. This The magician is manifesting this partnership right now. <laughs> Divine gods, whatever, you know. I said a magician because the magician is on the bottom of the deck. But this partnership is being um, put together. You guys are soon to be coming together. Think how the Divine Masculine is... The Divine Masculine is reflecting. The Divine Masculine is planning and reflecting on the commitments as well as the method. He's thinking in his magician thoughts. He's sorting out his resources. He's sorting out his thoughts. He's sorting out his plans, creating the plan together to figure out how to manifest this partnership. And not only how to manifest this partnership, um, but how to create an abundant life for the divine masculine, divine feminine, so that he could be the pro provider. He wants to be the person he wants to be um, for all of the people in his life, but to bring this partnership together in a prosperous and in a great way, um, in a protected way. And you have the divine feminine showing up in a reading. The divine feminine is following her dreams. So if you resonate, if you're the divine feminine resonating with this reading, this is you following your dreams. So if you're not following your dreams, you're not manifesting this partnership because to manifest this partnership, the divine masculine is reflecting on the future and manifesting the partnership and planning as well as the method to bring it together. He's in his magician energy in regards to the partnership and the divine feminine is in her magi magician energy um, manifesting her dreams. It's almost like a switch <laughs> between roles. The divine masculine, which we both have divine masculine and divine feminine energies equally in us, whether we attune to them and provide balance, that's on us. And we're supposed to be balanced, especially if we're coming together as a union, two, two, two. If we're coming together, then we should be balanced on both of our energies equally. But, you know, sometimes the tails, the scales are tipped. But anyway, it's almost like the ro roles reverse. Instead of the divine feminine which is another word for divine partner who was first on the partnership and on the scale trying to manifest it now she or he is manifesting their dreams focused on their goals to provide a prosperous prosperity and abundance in their life and the divine masculine is now thinking about the relationship the partnership and how to manifest the partnership they're both manifesting 
which is awesome because the stars have a line. You want to manifest when the stars in line for you. You want to manifest when divine guides are working with you. The planets are ready to, to bless this partnership and bring it together. And they're both working on what they should be working on. Again, balance. Two of Pentacles, providing balance, finding balance in their life, finding balance in their work, finding, finding balance in their home, finding ba balance in glory and hide and um, chest, tiferet, you know, in the tree of life, basically getting to a place where you're balancing your spiritual energies, you're working with divine guides, but also you're putting in the practical means to manifest what you want. You're not just dreaming. You're not just um, doing. You're, you're finding balance between both, maintaining positive vibes and energy to manifest a prosperous future. This is them. They're both planning, whether you're doing, following your dreams or if you are um, manifesting a divine partnership, this is future. You're planning for the future and you're putting the work in required to do so. The King of Pentacles is abundance. You're both planning for an abundant future. Yeah, that's dope. Both the divine masculine and the divine feminine is manifesting. Look at this. This is so dope. And then right under there, you have the Ace of Wands. Ooh. The lovers. Right under that. Judgment. Right under that. And then the hermit. I can keep going. The ace of pentacles. It's like the divine masculine and divine feminine putting in the energy and the work required. And what's so dope about that is like one, 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 you know, ace, magician, ace of pentacles. Anyway, two, two, two in this reading. Lots of synchronicities. Receiving from the divine. The light is with you. Yeah, this duality, this couple, this divine partnership is coming together. And you have to have both, you know? You have to have the spiritual energies and the masculine energies, whether the divine feminine who was the... Who, it doesn't matter what role you're in. Um, but your divine partner, one divine partner is manifesting their dreams. One divine partner is manifesting the partnership. It's, it's spirituality and practicality coming together. They're both finding balance within their lives. So that they can come together as balanced people. I resonate. I resonate with this reading with the divine feminine following my dreams, putting my plans together for the future. Oh, let me pull a numerology card to go with this because I just want to. If you guys, if you are starting a business, okay, let me tell you this quick chat while I'm pulling this moonology card. So I'm starting a business or whatever, or you know, I've started a course and a quote in a coaching program. Interesting. Ooh, you're very close to achieving your goals. And balsamic moon is a time for healing, which is another word. Ooh, expect powerful change. Um, anyway, so I have, I started a coaching program. Everything I do, I seek guidance from spirit. Well, most of the things I do. So especially in business, I'm like, is this opportunity going to be lucrative? What's going on with this? And then so I ask. I ask spirit and spirit tells me whether or not it's lucrative or if I should follow it. And so today it was just people keep, they keep calling my phone about this service they provide. And I was like, hey, Nick, why not give them a try? So I started listening to what the lady had to say. You know, I didn't sign up. I get home. I do a reading on it. See what spirit has to say about this partnership, potential partnership. And basically... I got to use the judgment card that, you know, I was advised to use better judgment. Everything isn't what it seems. Um, so I know I can't do that. I have to say no to that part. It's not the best for me. Yeah, I wrote it down. Um, yeah, it says there's promises of success and fulfillment, but everything ain't what it seems. Act in a responsible manner. Use wisdom. Hold on to your coins. They're all talking, no action. Use judgment and, you know, judgment and ju exercise good judgment. Um, yeah, there's manipulation. Reevaluate your priorities. Follow your heart. So I know this isn't the partnership for me. So if you're starting a business and you would like for me to provide coaching and get guidance from Spirit bi-weekly, click the link in my description. I already explained it in that video I showed you already. But anyway, what was I doing? I wanted to show this monology card. You are very close to achieving your goals. Clearly, the magician is in his reading. 222 is in his reading. We got synchronicities. We got unity. We got balance. We got working towards our goals and dreams. We have divine masculine planning towards the partnership. Let me just read the Gibbous Moon. Ooh, balsamic moon. Ooh, Gibbous Moon. There we go. 
Studios. It means bulging. Gibbous moon means bulging. And pulling this card at any time of the month suggests the situation you're acting about is bulging with possibility and soon to come to a peak. This isn't a yes or a no, but rather you're being minded, reminded to make some adjustment, adjustment, which is find balance within yourself before you get what you want. Hopefully, you're on, certainly on the right track, and it seems in this reading you are on the right track. There is also a, a sense that the situation is a bit tense, so don't push too hard. Trust in the universe. 222 is also a number for faith and trust. Trust that the stars are aligned because they are, and... Um, yeah, keep the momentum going towards your dream. Stay focused. It's on the brink of a new start. So keep working. Divine Feminine or Divine whoever you are, partner, keep following your dreams. Uh, putting in the work required to bring prosperity and abundance in your life. Divine Masculine, continue to plan towards the future with their Divine Feminine. Make things work and find balance within your life so that you can create a stable partnership um, when it's time to come together um yeah and then this balsamic moon a time for healing and how long have this video been going it's almost 10 minutes i guess i can read that a little bit this isn't too long or well it's been longer than 10 minutes but because i have to add the other parts of the video to this but i'll just read it i'll just read it Ooh, this pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning before you take the next step, make sure you are healed. That is so important. People enter these relationships. First of all, divine partnerships, I put you guys on a higher level because it's a divine partnership, meaning you should be power. You shouldn't be. You're, this isn't for low vibrational people. This is for high vibe people who understand their power and get in tune with their power. So whatever last steps you need to do for healing for it. Who you are as a person to access your power and your confidence and know who you are know you can manifest anything you want know that you were put on this earth for a reason and find it you know balance within your life and your situation and, and healing within the aspects of yourselves that needs to be healed because that's who you are you you're not for this low vibrational bullshit you are divine feminine or divine master or divine partner let's just say divine partner because you have both in a in you and you heal both you heal both your practical self and your spiritual self in order to be one with yourself so that you can come together with your divine partner and be one and you guys can come together and be three with spirit so yeah but also one you know three and one at the same time because unified divine partner one divine partner two with spirit three but all one we're all god and you, your partnership is coming together for a reason to heal the world. So, of course, you want to heal yourself before you can come together and heal the world and bring light and love and, and guidance and wisdom and God manifested on earth. Yeah, powerful insights can be had. Surrender to the divine. Work on your dreams. Work on your belief in your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. Belief in the partnership. Belief in your dreams. Belief in yourself. Believe in your divine guides. And it'll all work out for you, divine partner, whichever one you are. Divine partner one, divine partner two. Hope this helps. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you resonate with this video. I wish you love, light, light, peace, prosperity. And if I can help you with your business needs, let me know. I have limited slots available. And maybe you're one of them. Maybe I'm manifesting you right now. Peace.